Hello everyone, welcome to PRP Coding YouTube channel. I am Praveen Ravindran Pillai. In this session, I shall explain about factory pattern using delegates in c .net. So, let's start. I have created an ASP.NET Core Web API project and it is opened in my Visual Studio 2022. In this project, it contains a contracts folder, a controllers folder, a models folder and a providers folder. In the models folder, it contains a class mobile with two properties, ID and name. In the contracts folder, it contains an interface iMobile provider with a method signature get mobiles with a return type iReadOnly collection of mobile. Now, in the providers folder, it contains two classes Apple and Samsung. The Apple class has implemented the iMobile provider interface and the implemented method is returning a list of iPhones. Similarly, the Samsung class has also implemented the iMobile provider interface and it is returning a list of Samsung mobiles. Now, in the controllers folder, I have created a mobiles controller with an HTTP get method get mobiles, which is taking a string parameter as input and it is returning OK result. OK, so now what I want here is that when I pass a provider name in the request URL, I need to get the list of mobiles for that provider as a response. For example, if I pass the provider as Apple, it must return all Apple mobiles. Similarly, if I pass Samsung as a provider, it must return all Samsung mobiles. This can be achieved in many ways. Here I am going to implement this feature by using the factory method design pattern using delegates. So what is a factory method design pattern? The factory method design pattern is a creational design pattern that provides a way to create objects without specifying their exact class. The main intent of the pattern is to allow creation of object without exposing the creation logic to the client. So, as a first step, let me create a constructor and inject a func delegate which takes a string parameter as input and iMobile provider as output. So let me create a constructor here and uh, inject the func delegate. So you can say func string and this is iMobile provider. Say it as provider. Let me give it as underscore provider is equal to provider. Sorry. And I can generate a read only field. Yeah. And now what I can do here is in the OK, I can set underscore provider dot invoke and here I can pass the provider which is a string dot get mobiles that's it now the next step is we need to implement this logic in the program.cs I mean the func delegate logic in the program.cs file so in the program.cs let me add the services to the container so here I can say builder dot services dot let me add it as a singleton add singleton and here i will mention as func string i mobile provider and here i can say provider return provider Sorry, return provider dot to per switch and let me give it as apple sorry. new apple if it is Samsung that's new Samsung and if anything other than Apple or Samsung let me give it as uh, uh, throw a new uh, argument exception and here I will say invalid provider
So in the controller, when this HTTP GET method is triggered with a string provider in the request URL, it will go and invoke the method referenced by the delegate instance. In our case, it will go and execute this Lambda expression. Now, based on the provider, it returns an instance of a class that has implemented the iMobile provider interface. If the provider string is Apple, it will return an object of the Apple class. If the provider is Samsung, it will return an object of the Samsung class. And if there is no match, it throws an argument exception. Once the provider instance is retrieved, the getMobiles method of the respective provider class is invoked. Since this is a HTTP GET request, I am going to test this in the browser itself. So let me go and run this application. And here you can see that the application is running in HTTP localhost port number 5000. So let me open the browser and paste the URL here, HTTP localhost 5000 slash API slash mobiles. And let me pass the provider as Apple. And here you can see that all the Apple products are listed here. iPhone 16 Pro Max, 16 Pro, 15 Pro Max, and 15 Pro. Similarly, let me give it as A, B, C, D. There is no such provider. And if I click, here you can see that it is invalid provider. It's an argument exception. And let me go and pass Samsung. And here you can see all the Samsung products are listed. S24 Ultra, 23 Ultra, 22 Ultra, and 20 Ultra. So this is all about factory method design patterns using delegates. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for the next updates. Thank you.